Between movies, novels, and video games, we've seen all kinds of alien invasions. Giant ships that explode entire cities, creepy tripods that spread death, and real armies pouring onto our planet, proceeding to systematically eliminate humanity. But how realistic are these scenarios? In other words, what would a realistic alien invasion look like? Let's try to answer this question. Before thinking about the invasion's progress, we must ask ourselves another important question. What do the aliens want, and what are their goals? Let's start with the most classic and obvious alien goal, namely the conquest of our planet's resources. To be honest, many of Earth's resources are also found on other celestial bodies. Therefore, an advanced civilization would do better to obtain them from other sources. Or, perhaps, the invaders might want Earth for themselves, making it their new home or colony. In both these invasion scenarios, human survival could be an obstacle for the extraterrestrials, who, logically, should proceed to systematically eliminate Homo sapiens. How to carry out such extermination without damaging the planet too much? Sending forces on the ground, as advanced and superior in terms of armaments as they might be, might not be the most advantageous decision even for an intergalactic civilization. Deploying an invasion army still has costs. It would be better to rely on something more effective and less expensive, such as a virus or pathogen with maximum lethality and very rapid spread. The most efficient way to eliminate the human race, without worries, would be precisely to resort to a major deadly epidemic, spreading the pathogen through the air. Possibly, in some time, our species would meet its end, and the invaders would not have yet set foot on the planet, which at the same time would remain in perfect condition. If an alien army invaded Earth, surely some nations would employ their nuclear weapons, and this could be a nuisance for the invaders, given the environmental impacts of such weapons. In many alien invasion-themed movies, the conflict between Earthlings and extraterrestrials unfolds almost like an equal fight, as if it were the classic war between the more backward underdog and the more advanced invader who, however, ends up succumbing. Realistically speaking, things would not go like this. A civilization capable of crossing galaxies would have a level of scientific development unimaginable by our current standards. For example, think of a war between the human race and an anthill. As hard-working, organized, and determined as ants may be, they can do nothing against the enormous technological superiority of the human species, which possesses insecticides, explosives, toxins, and many other abilities perfect for exterminating the insects in question. In a short time, the anthill would be swept away with no chance of survival. Imagine now another scenario. The alien race in question is still interested in the planet's resources, but has no interest in leaving the Earth habitable, at least by our standards. In this case, the invaders might resort to their science to alter the Earth's atmosphere, making it toxic and lethal for living species. Or, they could completely darken the planet. This would lead to the rapid death of plant life forms, followed then by animals and thus also by mankind. However, humanity might last a little longer, drawing on food reserves. If they wished, a particularly cunning alien race could decide to turn our technology against us, launching the entire world's arsenal at once, to wipe out life on planet Earth, then proceeding to recover resources, perhaps via probes or automated machines. And if the invaders were interested in us, humans? I mean, if they wanted to enslave us or something similar, here the situation changes. The alien attack would no longer be focused on total extermination, but rather on occupying the planet and subjugating our species. To do this, I believe it would be necessary to send an occupation force to the ground, perhaps always keeping alive the threat of possible global annihilation. Fear and the desire for survival are powerful blackmail weapons, primarily to prevent forms of resistance. The invaders would proceed to disable our technology, perhaps through EMP pulses or similar. With this done, the military capability of humans would be reduced to the bone. 
The aliens could also opt to get local collaborators, power-hungry humans who act as their intermediaries. Or, who knows, they might release a substance or organism that controls our minds, making us docile pawns ready to execute any order without hesitation. Or again, they might invent a virtual simulation so perfect that it makes us believe we are living in the real world while our bodies are exploited for unknown purposes. Where have I heard this idea before? Beyond various scenarios, one thing emerges for sure. When trying to reason about a realistic alien invasion, the human race would be doomed, always and anyway. This is not just my statement, but also that of eminent researchers. Think, for example, of the legendary Stephen Hawking, who repeatedly expressed his opposition to the SETI project. SETI was a scientific research program based on the idea of sending radio signals into space, then trying to catch responses or signals associated with intelligent life forms. According to Hawking, sending a message into the cosmos could attract dangerous attention to our planet, leading an alien civilization here that, if hostile, would give us no chance of survival. In reality, Hawking's concerns seemed a bit exaggerated, Given the immensity of the cosmos, attracting the attention of hostile aliens is quite unlikely, it would be a huge stroke of bad luck. Even the physicist and science communicator Michio Kaku has repeatedly stated that an intergalactic civilization driven by malicious intentions would leave no hope for our species. After all, we are a people still bound to our home planet, who have not even seriously colonized our own solar system. However, there's no need to panic. The threat of an alien invasion is extremely unlikely. As mentioned earlier, there are much more concrete threats that could end our civilization. Ecological and natural disasters, epidemics, nuclear wars, etc. All events much more tangible, unfortunately. Then, of course, tomorrow a fleet of star destroyers could appear over our heads, but for now, Aliens remain confined to works of fiction, which, by their very nature, can take great liberties. Hence, we have aliens who fight almost on equal terms against us, aliens who ultimately always get tricked in some way, by a computer virus from some valorous military personnel, or by the most insignificant pathogens of our world. In this sense, no one will ever beat the aliens from the movie, Signs, Aliens who are mortally wounded by water yet decide to invade a planet full of water without special protections, a bit like if we went to a planet full of hydrochloric acid without protection. So, how would a realistic alien invasion unfold? Would we have any hope, or would we be swept away? Let me know in the comments section below. If you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and why not activate the bell?